What's up everyone? This is Seth with PageMaker and today I'm going to be doing a basic walk through our entire dashboard. Since the last UI update, a lot of you were writing to us, messaging us, asking where things were. So I thought it would be appropriate to create a video and do a thorough walkthrough. As soon as you log into PageMaker, you're going to land on the landing page screen. Here you'll be able to see all your different campaigns. And when you click on any of those campaigns, you'll be brought to the campaign specific settings. But before I do that, I want to explain the menu on the left. And if you notice, you have landing pages and you have Amazon pages. The only difference between normal landing pages and Amazon pages is that if you do sell on Amazon, then you'll be able to use this page to import your products into PageMaker using our API. So if you're an Amazon seller, all you would do is get your product URL. You would put it into this field, click on continue, and then we would import the product information and throw it into your landing page. So that's the only difference between uh, the landing pages and Amazon. PageMaker allows you to build any type of landing page. If it's for e-commerce, if it's for lead gen, Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, whatever you think of, as well as Amazon. Underneath, you have your domains. This is where you add your domain. You'll be able to see if it's been verified and it's very simple to do. You would just click on add new. You would either put in your subdomain. So if you're, you know, promo, so then your subdomain would be promo.shoes.com. Maybe you don't have a subdomain. You just leave it just as you see right now and you click on continue. Then we'll give you the information that you have to go and enter into your DNS. It's very simple to use and we also have a video on that. Underneath the domains is where you'll have all your redeemers. Anyone that has redeemed an Amazon promotion will be in this screen. You'll be able to export the information and it's on uh, cloud storage, so you'll always have it. The emails and any data that you've asked on the form. In the future, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the screen underneath the Amazon pages as a sub menu. So this redeemer will be gone very soon. It's going to be parked underneath the Amazon pages as a sub menu. Underneath that is our integrations. This is where you add and connect with all your favorite different apps. Uh, maybe it's an email client, maybe it's a CRM. This is where all the native integrations that PageMaker has to offer are. Underneath that is your account information. This is where you could change your account name or password. If you've subscribed to a workspace plan from here, you can manage or switch to all your different workspaces. And then you have your subscription where you're able to downgrade or upgrade depending on whatever uh, subscription plan you purchased. Underneath here, we have a roadmap. If you click on roadmap, it'll hyperlink and bring you to a website where you'll be able to watch our live roadmap. You'll be able to see what's in development. You'll be able to see what is planned and you'll be able to stay up to date with our development team and community driven um, requests. And then we have the updates. So whenever we do an update, if it's a template, if it's fixing a small bug or adding a new feature, this is where you'll get all your notifications. And usually when there's an update, you'll see a red icon here. So that's the basic left side menu. Now, when you go to your landing pages and you click on a campaign, you then actually let me get a good campaign that has data so that can give you more information. Perfect. So when you click on a campaign, you'll notice here on that hamburger, you're now going to be going into a specific campaign setting. Every campaign has specific settings and you'll notice all these different features and settings are here on the left hand side. So if you've built a landing page or a website, all these options are specific to it. You'll be able to export your website or landing page. If you want to host it yourself, you'll be able to connect to a domain that you've already uploaded, or you'll be able to use a PageMaker uh, link, which is free and comes with free hosting. Here is where you do your SMO. So, you, so your SMO is the image that will appear when you post this landing page or website online. If you're posting on Facebook, if you're posting on a forum, this is how you change the image. On top of that is the text for the page title and the description. And uh, this is where you'll put in the header and the description, and that will show with the image. So if you post on Facebook or in a forum, that image and this text are tied together. 
and then below you can put your keywords so on top of that on plugins we're going to be adding more native plugins so you can quickly do things like add your Facebook pixel. So if you want to add your Facebook pixel, we get this question asked pretty much every single day. All you do is click on plugins and then add your Facebook pixel ID. And then we will put in that uh, pixel natively onto your page. On top of that is JavaScript. Maybe you have a custom Facebook pixel, like you want to trigger an event or you want to add a uh, live talk widget. This is where you would do that. You just click on add new script, you'll title it, and then you'll paste in the code here and then that'll be appended to your page. On top of the JavaScript is a CSS. It works the exact same way. You're able to add custom CSS to your page. And then we have the branding, which is your favicon which is extremely important. It's a good trust factor. And this is where you'll be able to change your favicon. For those that don't know what a favicon is, it is the small logo that appears on the page tab at the very top. On top of that, you're able to switch your template. A lot of the times you begin a landing page and you may not be feeling it. So we give you the option to jump back and switch to another template. Then our design system. Our design system is global, meaning that the colors and fonts will appear on your landing page. Here you're able to choose from Google fonts. We have hundreds and hundreds of different fonts that you can choose from. You can choose your display and you can choose your body. Then you're able to create your color palette. Inside of the PageMaker editor, there's a color palette. You're able to choose your primary colors with all the different shades. And this is where you administer all of that. On top of that is your settings. This is the page title and description. So this is the title that will go on the tab. And this is the description when you appear on Google that will go underneath. Then we have forms. If you have a native form on PageMaker, this is where you'll be able to find all your different lead data and information. I have two forms on that page. So if I click on any of these, you'll be able to see all the emails and, in and information that were filled out. And then we have our analytics. So this is the screen you'll probably be on most. This is where you're able to kind of have a bird eyes view of your entire campaign in terms of conversions, views, and form submissions. If you do have forms, you'll be able to see the amount of visitors at what time and at what day. And then here at the bottom, you'll be able to see what devices and what browsers are most used. So that's the basic walkthrough of the dashboard. If you do have any questions, please feel free to email us or, or to write to us. We thank you for all of your support and we will be back again shortly with another video and exciting update. Have a great day.